Auguste counts the three stages of human development in society. Auguste Kant, often referred to as the father of sociology, came up with a fascinating idea about how human society develops over time. He called it the law of three stages, which explains how people's ways of thinking and understanding the world have evolved. In simple terms, Kant believed that human society progresses through three main stages, each defined by how we explain the world around us and how we try to solve problems. These stages are the theological stage, the metaphysical stage, and the positive or scientific stage. To begin with, the theological stage is the first and most basic stage in human development. In this stage, people explain everything in the world based on religion and divine powers. For example, if there was a storm, people in this stage would believe that a god or spirit caused it because they were angry or trying to send a message. Life in this stage revolves around worshipping deities and interpreting the world through myths and religious beliefs. Society at this time is often organized around priests or religious leaders who hold the most power, because they are seen as the ones who understand the God's will. This stage reflects a time when humans had little scientific knowledge and relied heavily on faith to make sense of the mysteries around them. Next comes the metaphysical stage, which is like a middle step between faith and science. In this stage, people start moving away from thinking that gods control everything, but they are not yet fully relying on science. Instead, they turn to abstract ideas or philosophical concepts to explain the world. For instance, instead of saying that a storm was caused by a god, they might say it happened because of natural forces or some unseen power. This stage represents a time when humans begin to question religious explanations but are still not fully grounded in evidence-based thinking. Philosophers become the key figures in society during this stage as they try to figure out how the world works through reason and speculation. It is a time of transition where people start to think more critically but are still figuring out how to base their understanding on facts. Finally, we arrive at the positive stage, which Kant believed was the most advanced stage of human development. In this stage, people stop relying on religion or abstract ideas to explain the world and instead turn to science and observation. For example, instead of saying that a storm is caused by a god or natural forces, people in this stage would study weather patterns, measure atmospheric pressure, and come up with scientific explanations like, the storm happened because of low pressure and humidity. The positive stage is all about using facts, experiments, and evidence to understand how the world works. Scientists and experts become the most important figures in society because they use their knowledge to solve real-world problems. Kant believed that this stage would lead to progress and a better quality of life because decisions would be based on reason and evidence, rather than superstition or guesswork. What makes this theory so interesting is how it connects to everyday life. Think about how you personally approach problems or try to understand the world. When you were a child, you might have believed in magical explanations for things you did not understand. As you grew older, you might have started questioning those ideas and coming up with your own explanations. Eventually, you learned to rely on evidence, facts, and logical reasoning to figure things out. Kant's three stages are like a larger version of this process, but instead of focusing on one person, it applies to the whole of human society. Kant also believed that society as a whole should aim to stay in the positive stage, because it allows for the greatest amount of progress and stability.
He thought that scientific thinking could help solve big problems like poverty, disease, and conflict. In fact, he believed so strongly in this idea that he proposed a new kind of society led by scientists and sociologists, who would use their knowledge to make decisions for the good of everyone. He called this a positivist society. Kant even created a kind of secular religion called the religion of humanity, which focused on worshipping human progress and reason instead of gods. While this idea did not catch on, it shows how deeply he believed in the power of science and logic. However, it is important to note that Kant's theory has its critics. Some people argue that it oversimplifies human history and ignores the fact that religion, philosophy, and science often coexist in societies. For example, even in today's world, where science plays a huge role, many people still hold religious beliefs or use philosophical ideas to make sense of their lives. Others point out that Kant's idea of a society led by scientists might not be practical or fair, as it could give too much power to a small group of people. Despite these criticisms, Kant's theory has had a lasting impact on sociology and how we think about the development of human society. In conclusion, Auguste Kant's Law of Three Stages offers a simple yet powerful way to understand how human thinking has evolved over time. From relying on gods and spirits to explain the world, to using abstract ideas, and finally to embracing science and evidence, these stages show how far we have come as a society. Kant's ideas encourage us to keep learning, questioning, and seeking evidence to solve the problems we face. If you found this explanation helpful and want to learn more about fascinating sociological theories like this, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Your support helps us bring these ideas to life and make them accessible to everyone.